Okay, so there were people that uh, obviously had not pre-registered and were still able to get into um, the conference. Okay. So I was just, I just thought, well, man, had I known it was free, <laughs> I wouldn't have pre-registered. Okay, just keeping it real, okay? I, I wouldn't have. So, okay. But you know, I'm not, I ain't mad at them. You know, if they got a deal and a steal, bam, more power to them. So, um, but I'm just saying, you know, I, I just wouldn't have, uh, I would have had a little extra money to, you know, give an offer. <laughs> just kidding. Anyway, um, okay, so the pre-registration really wasn't necessary because you could have gotten in anyway. Okay, cool. So, um. And then I would have had to wait in that long line. You know what I mean? Now, had I known that people were going to get in free anyway, I probably would have been one of those um, people in the line doing the grocery store talk. You know, but some things you just got to get over in life and move on. So... The, ne uh, the next thing that happened was we, we finally get registered, we finally get, you know, signed in, get the badges, yada, 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 get into the sanctuary. And if I tell you that we had to wait another hour for the service to start, I wouldn't be exaggerating, you know. But that was okay, you know, because that was time for me and my friend just to sit and chill and talk, you know, because we was tired anyway. We needed to be sitting down anyway because... Um, of that time we had spent in the line already. So we was, you know, we just chilling. So it's okay. We got to wait another hour even for the service to start. Okay, cool. So we're chilling. So, but I'm still a one need of buying a mic. If it had been two hours, I would have waited and been happy about it, right? So it finally starts and, you know, the singers come out, the worship team comes out and they just blow the socks off of you know, the whole church, you know, and then, you know, uh, Juanita Bynum finally, finally comes out and it's like, oh, there she is. So it was wonderful. It was, it was wonderful. Wonderful. And if we could have just stopped that night, packed up my bags and gone home, it would have been great, but I wanted to stay for the whole conference, right? Because I paid my registration. If I tell you that every single service was an hour to an hour and a half late, I wouldn't be exaggerating. But that's okay because we're working on that patience thing, right? Okay, cool. So, you know, we're staying at a uh, at a hotel. It's about um, I, I want to say maybe it's about five miles away from the actual church where the conference was held. And so, you know, if you are if you gotta come from where you are and it's a little bit of a distance. You know, then you have to get to where you're going and, and park, you know. And so, and, you know, the later you get there, you know, the less of a chance you're going to have uh, of finding a uh, close parking lot, uh, or, or rather a close parking spot, you know. Um, and so you try to get there relatively early so that you don't have to park so far away and, you know, the whole nine. Well, so, you know, we're diligent and we're trying to get there. And we're trying to be on time and we're trying to, you know, we don't want to miss nothing. And we're not trying to walk 10 miles either to get, you know. So 
we come so we can get, you know, kind of a decent spot to park and, and um, kind of a decent seat inside sanctuary. And you know what I mean? Kind of be in the flow of things so you don't just be on the late freight walking in there. Things are halfway over and, you know, what, what's the use, right? So one morning we, uh, you know, we get up and to go to one of the services and, you know, trying to be timely and, um, for all those reasons I just stated. So my friend and I, we're walking toward the service. And so the closer we get to the church, we see that people are walking back the other way, leaving the church. So we know that we're we're on we're on time. We know that, you know, we didn't miss anything. So they're they're walking though away from the church and we're walking toward the church. So we're the two of us are doo -doo 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 -doo. and you've got these tons of people coming back our way. The opposite way. So we go, what's going on here? You know what? Did they cancel it? What's going on? Did we miss it? Did we it I know they said So we asked these two ladies that, you know, have their little badges on. What's going on? These two women happen to be from uh, Europe or something. Uh, they had, uh, you know, Europe, heavy European accents. And uh, they said, well, uh, Juanita Bynum is in heavy in prayer. And, and they decided to stop this service uh, after lunch. I said, Okay, but but I ain't tripping though, because I'm still a Juanita by the mic. You know what I'm saying? She could have detained the service until you know midnight. That would have been okay with me. You know, I'm a Juanita by the mic. So, uh, so you know, she's heavily in prayer, and so the the service will continue after lunch. Okay, after lunch. Okay, so after lunch. Okay, after lunch. So, okay, okay. So we hurried and scurried and you know and got <laughs> I mean well, we could have maybe slept in a little because you know the night services they, they're they they're going till 12, 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning so and you know if you got to get up early in the morning to be to the next one it's like you know you're a little bit tired so if I would have known ahead of time that she was he heavy in prayer and, and I could have slept in but you know, but it's okay because I'm still a one to the so after after lunch so it's like, okay, so now at this point, we don't want to lose our parking spot. And, you know, we don't want to, uh, what do we do? We, we're stuck. What do we do? What, okay, let's go eat. Oh, gosh. So I tell you what, Los Angeles, a rib joint right across the street from, maybe a block and a half or something across the street from West Angeles Church of God and Christ ribs, barbecue shack. Whew. I'm so glad that she was heavy in prayer and decided to start the service after lunch. Because we grabbed all some ribs. Okay. So that was cool. You know what I mean? So we came back after lunch. And we get there after lunch at a relatively decent time so we can get a decent seat. By golly, gosh be darned, if it did not again start an hour late. <sighs> okay, but you know, I'd be used to it by now because that's, it is what it is, right? But I gotta be patient and deal with it because I don't wanna sit in the balcony either. You know what I mean? That's just the price you pay. So, um, we go to a, uh, come back to the service off to lunch and you know we go to sit down uh, and so we're seated we're seated we got our seats and we're you know we're ready we're ready it's, it's gonna be good it's just the momentum is just it's just getting stronger and stronger and, we, and the praise is getting higher and higher and the, eh, you know so 
we're sitting down and so the place starts getting a little crowded you know people start coming in and it starts filling up well we're sitting next to a lady I I don't know you know and so now you know usually people start getting the outside seats first if you get there kind of early you get the outside seats first you know you don't usually go you know directly to the middle so people had filled up the outside first and so the people that came in after them have to you know like at a movie theater you have to pass by people in front of their knees cool no problem with a church should be no problem with that you know just they pass by excuse me excuse me excuse me you hold back in your seat you know and they go and you just move back, you know, move your purse out the way, just move back. It's all good. Tell me why. This lady um, who's sitting by me, a lady's trying to get by her. And I guess she must have accidentally, I'm sure it wasn't intentional, she accidentally stepped on her foot. The lady that's sitting by me. This lady, and we are in the church. Let's 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 get it. Let's get the story straight. She said, "Ow! You need to watch where you go with." Okay, okay. I said, "Well, you know, maybe that really hurt her." I'm thinking, you know, maybe she, it really hurt her, so she just lost herself. So, um, okay. You know, maybe she had surgery on it or something and she just, just like, you know, didn't have time to be polite. Fine. Because it hurt so bad, you know. But I'm waiting for the lady to say, uh, well, the lady, and the lady that passed her was like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. You okay? I'm so, I'm so sorry. She said, and she just stayed in that mode. Like, And I'm like waiting for her to get out of that mode, you know, because we're in church, you know. It's like, <sighs> okay. After an hour, we're sitting there. Here comes the music. And I told you the music was bumping, right? So the praise starts. They hit that music. They start singing them song, the very first song. I mean, they, let, they, they couldn't, the, the praise team couldn't get the first words out of their mouth before that lady who was, <laughs> had her hands up in the air, praising the Lord. I said, huh? Is this a, uh? so I told my friend, we are moving. I don't care if we have to sit on the last seat in the balcony. I'm not sitting by this lady. Part three is on the way.